guys, Alvin Mark here. What's up? How are we all doing? You know, I've been getting a lot of questions about what I carry with me with regards to urban sketching. So I thought that in this episode, I'm going to spend some time sharing just that. I think you've seen this before. This is my little pencil case from Smeagol. It's all beat up now, not like how it was before. Before it was more like that. Star Trekish. Now there are scratches and marks and spills and whatnot all over. It's more Star Warsy, <laughs> if there's such a word. But it's all good because this is my stuff, my pack. Uh, when I head out and this is all I need to get me going. Yeah, you can see spills from this ink little plastic bottle. Let's start off with that. This is when I have to refill my ink when I'm on the go, when I'm on the train. These days, I've been using sketch ink. What I do is I fill this bottle up and I carry this with me wherever I go to because this is just too cumbersome to heavy. This colour that I've chosen is called Lotte but essentially it's a black and it's by the company Rohrer and Klingner from Germany. I'm so glad to be able to find this locally. Uh, I've gone through lots of inks and this is the one that doesn't clog up my fountain pens. So first layer of spill just in case and second layer of spill just in case. Sealed. Uh, since we're talking about inks, uh, this is my pen, the Jin Hao. The only reason why I use this is because of its broad fude nib that it has. It allows me to draw very quickly with precision because it flows out like a fountain. I feel this cartridge in here with that ink over there. You've seen me do this before in several of my videos and this video is not for that demonstration. Next up, inks. I have the Pentel brush pen and uh, all I have to do is just fill this up with this same ink in here whenever it's running dry. This is my mechanical pencil. I fit it with a really thick lead and I sharpen it usually before I hit off. So this is really enough for uh, what I do in urban sketching. Next up, my two brushes. They are pocket brushes. I think it's just more compact to carry these. I have a small brush from Rosemary and a, a, a fatter one from Tintoretto. Uh, this one would be used for backgrounds if I ever do it. And this one would be for the ones in the foreground or the cakes that I do when I'm in the cafes. Over here, you know what this is for. This is for an emergency. By the way, I carry a bottle with me also wherever I go to, just for my watercolors. If I forget to bring this bottle, this is my emergency. It's an air sick bag that I can get from uh, any of the airlines. So what I do is I fold it down and because it's all wax in there, I can fill it with water and do my watercolor. That straightforward and simple. I have a few wet ones in here just in case uh, for messes and all that and lots and lots of paper towel. Alright folks, so we're done over on this side. Let's move on to this side here. And the main thing in here is just this watercolor kit. That's what we're going to focus on right now. This is by White Knights. If you've not seen a review for this, please click on this link up here for that review. So we're not really going to dive into it, but I'm just going to show you the current colors that I have right now. I do mix and match every now and then so I get to try out different colors. Right now, currently, I have a cadmium red, some form of an alizarin crimson, lamp black, titanium white, yellow ochre, cadmium orange, a horizon blue, ultramarine blue, burnt sienna, lemon yellow. Uh, I have
have a sepia here that was from the previous batch that I'm trying to finish off right now and I have an emerald green and yes if you notice that this horizon blue is a little bit different than the rest you are correct because my horizon blue is from a tube it is by Hobain Japanese maker Hobain makes these and they are really bright and light and that's why I use them I used to have Cerulean Blue in here by White Knights but if you've seen the reviews they melt these are all honey based colors they are almost in this liquid state check this out this is wet right yeah and especially here in Singapore uh, where temperatures are hovering around 24 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius all year round this stuff the cerulean blue melts and that's why I've replaced it with this one over here a whole bean so very simply I'm just getting a light of one hue and a dark of one hue that's it that's straightforward a light of one hue and a dark of one hue and once again this keeps changing over time as I try different colors that is sold at the store and uh, I carry an eraser just in case I try not to use it but hey you never know right and this is interesting it's a bottle cap but what I use it for is if I ever need to tint the black in here I would fill just about half the amount with water and I would just touch the nib with it to tint down the black that I'm putting down it so that's that guys this is what I carry when I head out fairly simple I don't want to complicate things uh, some of my friends carry like 10 fountain pens and all that when they go out but remember I oil paint so this is just my quick and dirty setup for urban sketching oh yes real quick one more thing uh, when I travel what I do is I can shove this over here and then it opens up two spaces for me to bring extra brush pens so if I'm going to a country like Japan maybe I would bring red if I'm going to the UK or America or the Netherlands, I might bring an ultramarine blue. If I'm going to Vietnam or China, maybe a red and, and a cadmium yellow. Or if I'm going to Ireland, a green and an orange. So it really depends where I head to, but this is just more for variation and adding some fun to what I sketch. So it's this and my water and of course my sketching materials. Let's talk about that real quick. Let's put this aside. So when I'm when I'm here locally, I would use a very cheap 180 GSM sketchbook. This one's B6 size. When I'm traveling, uh, because I don't have the luxury of bringing hats like these when I when I go out sketching my one go-to book would be this from Moleskin it's an A4 and it opens up so I can sketch panoramic scenes I love this so much and it's 300 GSM uh, some people claim that this is waxy but hey you know what I've found it to be reliable yep so guys this is my setup I hope you enjoyed this short little episode on what I carry when I head out for urban sketching do you like my setup so remember to like subscribe comment down in the description box uh, what you like about this episode you can even share with me what you put in your urban sketching kit if you have ideas of how I can improve my compact little urban sketching kit do let me know also in the description box down below thank you so much for tuning in I am so grateful for your presence and if you'd like to do share this with other like-minded folks 
this is Elvin Mark. You're on my art channel. Until the next one, guys. Ciao, ciao.